morning, Mason gang. Here I am out on the golf course. Look at that. It's a beautiful Monday morning. It's mighty cloudy. It is very cloudy. Actually, it just rained a lot. That's actually why I'm out here because as you can tell, nobody's in that parking lot, which means I will be all alone on this course. And at this very moment, it is 8.39. And I'm gonna to try to get through this course in the quickest time I possibly can. I'm gonna to try to get in 18 holes under an hour. That's why I came out here, so I can get to work for the rest of the day. So I will check in with you at the end of 18, and I'll let you know how quick I get through 18 holes. made the turn. I don't know why I thought I could get through 18 holes in an hour because I am 50 minutes, wait, yep, exactly 50 minutes in after nine holes. So my hope is at this moment, it's 9.29. Hopefully we can get this back nine done quicker than the front so we can move on with our day and hopefully we can play just a little bit better, but we'll see. Just finished proof did the back in 40 minutes so the whole 18 took me an hour and a half and not only was that the quickest round of the year it was also one of my better rounds I'm not very good at golf as you can see I shot an 80 and that was still one of the better rounds of the year for me but I'm not gonna complain about it I'm just happy I was able to come out and play quickly in between the rain and having to get some work stuff done. I'm actually running back to the shed. I gotta switch out trucks. Sorry, red guy, you're out of here. And then I'm essentially gonna be going on a shopping spree today. I'm not actually gonna be buying anything, but we're gonna be looking at a lot of items that we might be buying in the very near future. First thing I'm looking at today, and sorry it's a little windy, are these mowers. So I'm looking at Xmark mowers and the reason being is because the little brother, Joey, my good friend, and I are thinking about opening a mowing company on the side that we manage a little bit, but we mostly have run itself. But we are trying to figure out what equipment we need to do that. And Xmark is going to be likely the dealer we go with. So I'm looking at these. These are uh, Staris mowers. So this isn't a Stars, I don't think. I think this is a Vantage. Oh no, this is. This is an S-Series right here. So this mower is a rider, so you stand on it, so it's better on your joints. These 52-inch mowers, they go about 10 miles per hour, hold about 10 gallons of gas. We'd run them for about 1,000 hours at a time, and they run at about 10 grand. So we do something like that. We'd have one of these mowers, we'd have a smaller one of these mowers, then we'd also have a couple of commercial push mowers. The other thing I learned is these mowers here, they're a bit more expensive, and your body kind of gets worn down from riding around on them all day. So when it comes to actually buying mowers like this and doing it commercially, you wanna be a part of their fleet program. So with Xmark, these guys, we need to buy seven points worth or whatever they might call it seven blades and that means we have to buy enough equipment that we enter their fleet program and we get 24-hour repairs we also get access to their switch out service so if one of our mowers take longer than 24 hours to repair we don't actually have to be down a mower they'll lend us one whether it's a demo or something they have in the shop so that means we need to buy at least three or four machines, depending on how big those machines are. So that's really what we're figuring out right now. We're trying to figure out what mowers are perfect, which ones we like, and I can tell you, these Starus S-Series, these guys, these are definitely the ones we like a whole lot. 
and we were debating like i said earlier what blade to get and we're going with 52 because 48 inch blades are a little small 60 inch is a little big for commercial if you have to go through any kind of fence anything like that and then the big thing is for us is we just want to make sure we're using the quickest mower because you want to fly through lines because that's how you help your bottom line so i learned a lot these mowers have a four-year warranty, 1,250 miles, and I'm excited to look at one of those and hopefully buy one of them in the future. So that's the first thing I looked at today. Next thing we're going to go check out is trailers because we're going to need a trailer for those mowers, and I also need a dump trailer for three timbers. Like I said, the second thing that we're looking into, or I'm looking into today, is trailers. So I'm first trying to find a trailer that we can put our mowers on. So I'm looking at these aluminum trailers. This is actually a 12 footer. It holds 2,300 pounds. And you can see it's nice and light, which is really nice to have. Also, when you go with an aluminum trailer, it doesn't rust as much, but the problem is they're a little more expensive. I know this 12 footer, I have the sheets right here. If the wind would stop blowing them around, that 12 footer runs at about three grand. And so it's just a matter of if we have employees running around with mowers, do we really want them to be using a trailer that they can beat up really easily? Cause aluminum dents easier too, and it's more expensive to fix. Now the second trailer I'm looking into is an enclosed trailer because I haven't decided if I might want the mowers to be inside and protected. Then we could have all the equipment kind of stored away if we didn't have the right shed for it. So this is what the inside of an aluminum trailer. This is a 12 footer and you can see there's lots and lots of space. And the only reason why I consider doing one of those is because if we had crews going out and we had them just kind of in different neighborhoods, we could potentially just drop off all the equipment, leave it stored in one of these trailers that are enclosed and then not have to worry about the equipment. Thing is, if you do one of these single axles, it only has about, it only holds roughly 2,000 pounds, and we'd really want it to hold more like four. So when we go from a 2,000 pound trailer, which was the one I just showed you, that's like a $3,600 trailer, and if we work our way up to a double axle trailer, then the trailers are becoming about $7,000. So. It's kind of a steep price increase, but it holds twice as much weight, which makes it kind of hard to decide what we should do when it comes to trailers. The third trailer that I'm looking into, because yes, I'm looking into even a third one that we need to add to the fleet is a dump trailer. You can see this is a 16 foot dump trailer and it is a beauty. We used to have one of these, but we sold it when we stopped really running three timbers for a while. And you can see it hoists up 16 feet. It has a nice cover that covers the whole, covers the whole trailer when you load it up with mulch or rocks. You have the double axle, which is beautiful. And a trailer like this holds 14,000 pounds, which is really a difference maker when you're hauling stuff continuously. And you have everything in here. Like in your box, you have your battery, you have your remote to control it going up and down, which is super nice. It's super easy to work with. And when you can simply move 14,000 pounds without even having to think about it, it's super nice. As long as you have the right truck to haul it, you have, you have to have at least a 250 or more for your vehicle to handle something that powerful, that thing back there. The only downside is it's about 10 grand. But when you're comparing it to the mowers, it's kind of like, oh, it's only 10 grand. So those are the three trailers I'm looking into. And I have all the sheets for it. I'm doing some price comparisons and I'm trying to make sure we do what's right for the business. I'm now moving on to a quick client visit because I do need to get a couple of things done for actual current clients instead of just working on stuff for myself. And then we're gonna be going and looking at our third project of the day. By third project, I mean we've already looked at mowers, we've already looked at trailers, 
and the third one's a real doozy. Got stuck in some more rain, so I couldn't go to my clients quite yet. So I decided to stop here in Wyzetta, make this the office for a couple of hours to get some work done. There's the beautiful Lake Minnetonka. There's the office that I spent time in right behind me for a couple hours. But it's just gorgeous around here. I, I can't get over how beautiful Minnesota is in the summer. If you haven't been to Minnesota in the summer, come, come on over, come join us, come say hi. It's an amazing place. Another day and another hydro sweep installed. This is actually one of our older versions. Wouldn't usually install an older version of a hydro sweep, but this person has a ton of them. They wanted another hydro sweep that was cheap, and we had one with a new motor in it, and they were fine with it. So just installed it. We're good to go. But you don't care about the hydro sweeps. You don't care about the little baby parts of my day, you care about the brand new house we're about to look at buying. And I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. Here's the new house. Look at this beauty of a place. Oh my goodness, why is it so nice? Yeah, this is the basement, gorgeous. The foundation might be a little iffy. You can see that this wall seems to be bowing a little bit. And it might be a little iffy in there. And believe it or not, there is actually a garage in here, but you can't see it because it's dark. Don't really know the history of this house. This house is probably a teardown. And if we go upstairs here, there aren't many lights in this place because they're all out. But look at this beauty. Nice little dining room. Oh my goodness, yes. Off of the main stairway, you got a bedroom so nice small and if we go over here we got ourselves a little living room the living room is actually kind of cool it's got unique lights living room's got some got some character and we got ourselves a porch out here i can get in there for a sec how do you unlock this door here we go okay it's porch and you guys can see out the window, there's some lake. That's the reason why we're interested in this place. If we can get a variance, we would be able to get lake access to Lake Minnetonka. This place is currently getting sold for $199,000. You can't even get a lot on Lake Minnetonka for under a million. And this has almost a full acre. So our goal would be to tear down this place, maybe put a duplex in and get lake access. This whole thing's riding on lake access. Because look around. Does this house look like something you'd salvage? Uh, who knows? We don't know what the bones are like, but it doesn't look like it's in great shape. And usually we'd be okay with remodeling it, but it looks like no one's lived in it for a very, very long time. It's got a nice driveway. It's got a big yard. You can see Michael down there in the distance, maybe roaming around in the trees. But yeah, the whole goal of this place would be to find out if we can get a variance. It'd be to find out if we could potentially get lake access. Because without that, this is pretty much just a beat up place that might not have any potential at all. I have to show you one more view of the place just so you know how incredibly nice the thing is. But yeah, it's got beautiful lake access, hopefully, if we can get it. And this is a big yard and this house Maybe not perfect, but the yard is something we got to give a go at. All right, Mason gang, he went through the entire day with me. It was a crazy day. We saw a lot of stuff. We have to make a lot of decisions when it comes to mowers, trailers, houses. The wife's with me. She actually saw the house. She came a little bit after I showed you guys the place. And I think we can both agree the house is, is not beautiful. Not beautiful. Fixer upper. Fixer upper. And there'd be quite a lengthy process we'd have to go through to try to figure out if we had lake access or not. But 
we'll see. We'll see if the little brother starts to look into that stuff to see if we really need to pursue that house or not. But look at this, perfect day, perfect way to end the day. And it's just gorgeous, beautiful walk. We try to do this as much as we can just because it allows us to talk, think, and enjoy life. So with that, <laughs> we are going to go enjoy rest of our night. And we appreciate you following us along in today's episode of the Mason Gang. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.